here we go with a top five checklist when reviewing window wall shop drawings. I don't want to touch on five items you should look out for when reviewing a typical window wall system. So number one, anchorage. How is the unitized assembly anchored to the structure? So here you could see we have our perimeter slab and here you have an expansion anchor that is anchored down into the structure. But you want to look at items like minimum embedment, edge distance, spacing, number of fasteners, etc. And when reviewing the shop drawings, you want to make sure you have your associated structural calculations to make sure that everything's been coordinated. Number two, movement. So we have to think about things like maximum system tolerances and building movements. So if you can imagine if you have pedestrians walking up to the edge of the window and you have a lot of weight here towards the edge, this slab edge is going to partially deflect. And so we have to consider live load deflection. So here you can see we have a head receptor at the unit below and here's the window set within. So you're going to have to think about if this whole perimeter slab edge partially deflects, you don't want to crush the window below. So you have to create almost a slot right here to account for that movement. So here you should specify or acknowledge a minimum and maximum dimension for the system to move within the receptor track. Number three is your waterproofing. So here we're looking at items like our primary and secondary line of sealant, but also you have to consider your slab edge waterproofing coming in below this system. What contractor is going to own the waterproofing and make sure that it properly ties into your sealant joints and that everything is compatible to maintain a watertight system assembly and slab edge. Number four is your insulation. So of course, making sure we maintain thermal continuity, but if you don't have a thermally broken slab edge, here you're gonna have your insulation. And so making sure that we've specified and installed the proper R value and that we install the proper thickness to make sure that we're properly insulating our opaque area. Number five is maintenance. So how easily can you maintain the system over time if you have damage or failure of specific components? So here, for instance, you can see the glass unit. If we were to have glass breakage, you can come in here from the interior, remove this glazing bead, cut out the structural silicone bite, and remove the piece of glass from the interior. The exterior components, you could see, for instance, this slab edge cover, if there's any damage to it or something goes wrong, the fasteners are exposed. And so you can hang the building from a rig remove this and replace this unit easily. So thinking about how easily can we maintain the system over time. So there's five tips. Hope it was helpful for y'all.